Um, what we have here is a really cool little amp. This um, is for videos for people that are interested in the whole projector, the Bell and Howell Filmer Sound projector amps. And um, I've had a few uh, friends and uh, people on the internet ask me um, exactly what these are, how they sound like. Um, so I'm going to tell you about my journey um, and how I ended up um, getting a few of these amps. Uh, basically, um, I'll make no um, um, hidden fact about it, but um, I heard an album by a very young guitar player, I was quite young at the time, called Blake Mills, and uh, he had an album out called, um, I think it was Break of Mirrors, and then he had another album out called Hi-Ho. And on Hi-Ho, I heard this, um, apart from that, um, the cool guitar sounds, what I really was impressed with was production, you know. And if you're a producer, you know the thing that makes production is your instruments, the sound of your instruments, you know, because you can't produce a sound if you don't have this sound at the source, a good source sound. So um, listening to this album, Hi Ho by Blake Mills, just heard this beautiful amp sound, you know, so then it kind of put me on to a, um, a little sort of path discovery, path of discovery. And I found out that he was using these projector amps made by a guy called Uston Hooks. And um, I've been in touch with Uston actually um, by email. And um, he seems like a really cool guy and he's a, pretty much an, an amplifier genius and he's um, basically um, got um, a projector amp, oh, well sorry, a projector, um, a 16 millimeter Bell & Howe projector. So the projector would actually sit inside this cabinet and I've taken this out, actually I bought, when I bought this cabinet I actually still had the projector inside it and it's a big hunk of metal so you took that out and uh, what's left is the speaker and you got your amplifier there. So these were made, I think, in the mid 50s, but they go right back to the 40s. You know, you can get them in the 40s. And here in England, um, they also made, um, it was called Bell and Howell Filmer Sound GB. And GB, obviously, I'm guessing sound, stands for Great Britain. So they also had a few models that were specifically for the British market. And uh, interestingly, they were always 110 volts. So over here, I've got. Um, a step down transformer because us in the UK are running at 240, in Europe they're 220 volts and obviously in America you're at 110 volts. So you, in order to get this amp to work here in the UK I need um, a transformer. However, um, I have discovered that there is a, I've got actually uh, two more of these and my other two, uh, one's another 110 volts but the other one's 220 volts and that's an EL84 model called the Specialist model, which I think was made in Canada. So there's quite a few of these. So if you are in England do you have a, or Europe, you have a few options. Um, with my second, this, is, this model here is called a, um, a Filmer Sound 385. And this is um, the desirable model to have because that's the one that Blake Mills and, uh, well, Austin Hooks um, basically modified a Filmer Sound 385. A 385 model for um, Blake Mills and that's what you're hearing on his album called Hi Ho which I highly recommend you go and listen to. Um, now I, I also double these little amps up with my Mystic Blues amps which are kind of Dumble inspired and they, they work really well and they kind of sound like you're gonna hear the sound in a minute but they sound kind of like a Tweedy a tweed sort of style amp. The problem you're gonna have when you get one of these if you buy one of these off eBay you can get them pretty cheap you know I mean you have bought one for hundred pounds um, but the problem you're going to have is you've got to convert it into guitar use so that it sounds good um, with guitar. And you can use them from the get-go with the guitar, but there's a few problems, you, you, you know, with the, um, the, the output jacks for the speaker are not the correct size to put a quarter-inch jack in. Um, <clears throat> and then you've got some other problems, maybe the input, there's a resistor on the input which is not too good, I think. And um, yeah, so you've got the electricity. Um, you need a proper, um, you know, a safety kind of plug at the back thing. So that's another thing you've got to kind of deal with. So if you're good with a soldering iron, you know what you're doing, and you're not going to electrocute yourself, then you can go on the internet. There's a great YouTube video 
about that. But otherwise, I um, I'm, you know, I can barely change a plug myself. So I sent this actual model here. I sent this one to a guy called Bill Crenard, who resides in sunny California, and uh, he basically modified this into guitar use. Um, I'm going to just basically show you the clean sound today. I'm not going to crank it up because you can get some really cool overdrive sounds, but we're just going to focus on the clean sound today. Um, now, also um, another thing that I copied uh, Blake Mills on two two kind of things I copied Blake Mills on really were the the film sound amp and also here we've got um, behind me we've got Victoria Reverb Ramo which is a basically a spring reverb and a vibrato so that that vibrato sound that you were hearing there down there is basically the um, the reverb ramo giving me some wobble without the it's got a nice, really beautiful reverb on there. Okay, so let's get back to this. This film of sound, as I said, um, is modified. It's modified by Bill Crenard, who's out in sunny California. Okay, the way this film of sound works is really simple. We've got the the on and off button here. So that's basically if I turn that uh, the amps off, then if I want to put the amp on. This knob here also um, functions as a EQ. So we've got bass here and got treble here. So the more you wind it up, you've got um, more treble. This is my volume. So what I'm gonna to do today, and I'm just gonna push it a little bit past halfway. Um, we're not gonna put it full on, but it will distort full on. We can't do that today, unfortunately. Um, I've got two switches here. This is a PAB, I think this is a preamp boost. Um, so that takes the tone, um, if I'm getting this right, that takes this tone stack out of the circuit. And this is some kind of an EQ switch, but I can't remember what um, Bill told me. I'll have to check the email. Um, but we're gonna put it up, because it sounds pretty cool up. So that's basically it. It's the most simple amp ever. Um, so let's, um, let me play you something. Let's put the volume up a little bit. Okay, so let's start on this back pickup.
Okay, here we are. We're going to um, just try some other cool things out. Um, it's got guy tone. Um, this is. Um, I'm going to just come back and just talk a little bit about uh, Hi Ho the album by Blake Mills, where I first heard these film sound amps. Um, I hadn't heard um, production like that since an album called Mambo Sinuendo by Rakuda. Rakuda, of course, went to um, Cuba to record that in Havana with Manuel Galban, and um, it's a beautiful album. And what I really love is the the actual production, the you know, um, the the sound, the atmosphere of the album as well. And I felt that um, an album hadn't really captured that. Um, actually, um, I heard I think there's a Tom Waits album, recent Tom Waits album, which I really loved. Maybe well, when I say recent, maybe 10, 10 years ago, fifteen years ago. But kind of since those a couple of albums um, that I heard um, Hi Ho, and I just loved the, the production value on that. And uh, and that's kind of what where I sort of started digging a little bit and uh, finding out what gear Blake Mills was using. But this is this guitar here is was featured on the Rikuda album called Mambo Sinuendo. So it's kind of really nice. I use it with um, some of the African sort of um, influence uh, music I do. So. Okay, so let's try um, with uh, Les Paul. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're going to take it down a little bit to play some. And it's got great um, note definition and a lot of the times you're thinking that these amps are slow, you know, a um, bit, what's the word, saggy. So let's just try and play something a little bit faster. It's a really cool amp. Like I said, I'm just still discovering things about it. What I really like about it is a great. It's great for playing rhythm guitar. So I'm going to finish this demo with um, my um, my Strat. Um, the tune because I'm horrendously out of tune. <laughs> 